the calendar may say autumn, but temperatures are still pretty sweltering here in North Florida. But the good news, the radar is clear. Still, hydration will be key today at TIAA Bank Field in Jacksonville. Straight ahead, we've got a good one on tap here between the New York Giants and the Jacksonville Jaguars. set to start the proceedings and we are underway here in Jacksonville taken in at the three and he nearly broke that for more but as it is still a good return they'll start the drive right around the 37 line of scrimmage the 37 on first and 10 and the timing a bit off that time as that one falls to the ground Line of scrimmage, again the 37 as they line up second and 10. On the ground, this is Saquon Barkley. And he'll grab a gain of five out of this up to the 41-yard line. For these two teams, the Jags and Giants, two lowest scoring teams in the NFL last year in 2021. The Jags, 14.9 points a game. Giants, only slightly better, 15.2. Now, by comparison, you think about the Cowboys, they led the league 31.2 points per game. So more than both of these two clubs combined. Right back to Tony. He's got another one. And he's going to be down at the 35. Gain of seven. If you're these receivers, you got to be ready because when he's going to throw it quick on that RPO, he's going to throw it quick. And this is why you spend time with your guy either in the offseason, during the week, the whole bundle. Because sometimes it's just telepathy. You both see the same thing, and he knows get the ball to him right away. second down here's Barkley and this time not quite to the 30 it'll be down at the 31 yard line they'll get three as the drive continues it's a first down they'll run it again with Barkley and he struggles to get a yard here maybe a yard down to the 31 the run only got a yard. Here's second and nine. But not much on that run, Charles. No, that's exactly the way to execute a run blitz there. They guessed correctly that they would move the ball on the ground, honed in on it, and stopped them. Marked that down for a win in the defense's column. Here comes the eighth play of the drive, and they need a full 10 yards on third down. They'll roll him out right. And they're going to get this down inside the 20. He's a talented runner, and that means he's always looking for bigger and bigger gains when he takes off. Certainly found some bonus yards there beyond the first down marker, and this early drive will continue with that extra jolt from his legs. And he'll get him inside the 15 down to the 14-yard line. Running again with Barkley on second down. And here he'll get it down to the seven. Seven yards on the pickup there, and now they'll have it first and goal. They'll try and run for it with Barkley. That gets him three yards closer here as it brings up second and goal. Barkley going to take this down just short of the goal line. He got three but could not get the ball over the chalk. Looking to cash in on this opening drive. Here's third and goal. Now Jones. And he'll just toss it away. So he throws it away, and that brings up fourth down. So it's been a long drive. They've held the ball for quite a while. Now what do you do here? Well, to me, at this stage after this drive, this close to the goal line, three points would be a letdown. I'm going for it here.
So Jones off, Graham Gano on here for the New York Giants field goal. And the holder's going to keep it. He's going to try to run for it. The fake field goal catches everyone by surprise. And the Giants' decision to go for it pays off with six points. Many would call that a gutsy decision here early on to go for it fourth and goal. There was no hesitation. Field goal unit never sniffed the field. It was a message. And the message was, I trust you on offense. Go out and make this happen. Go ahead and pick it up. You know what else he said? I trust my defense as well. They don't get it. I know you're going to hold them. So it's a message to your entire team that you believe in them. Extra point try. Good by Gano. And that makes the score 7-0. Gano now following the touchdown here to kick it away. This is taken just shy of the 10. And a good effort on the return there. Gets him across the 30, up to the third and three. Out comes the Jaguar offense now as they get set to take over. Lawrence bringing the Jaguars up first and 10 at the 33-yard line. Out of the gun, it's Lawrence. They'll get this out to the flat for ETN. They'll wind up getting seven on the play, and it's second down. Brandon, to me, what's important right here on this drive is for them to get at least two first downs. They've got to give their defense a chance to settle down, catch their breath a little bit after they give up a touchdown on the opening drive. That one, a first down pickup of eight. Usually we see runs like this as the defense breaks down later in the game, but this guy is setting the tone early, running through all types of tackles and putting the defense back on its heels. Back to Robinson now on first down. And just one yard here from the 49 to the 50. A one-yard gain could look like a disaster, but it all depends on how the game is going. Is it a series of one-yard gains running the ball? If that's the case, you might have to start thinking about throwing it a little bit more. But if it's just the occasional one-yard run, hey, congratulations to the defense. They won that one. Come back and get them the next time. From midfield now, Lawrence. This one complete to Christian Kirk. And they stop him up short of the first down as they get him at about the 43. So the completion good for seven there. And that'll bring up fourth down. What well, we hear so often how tackling has become almost a lost art in the NFL game. But it's so important to tackle well on these receivers, especially in a play like this one. Third down, they gave him the underneath stuff. You got to go up and make the tackle right away. On fourth down, on is Logan Cook to punt. Saquon Barkley deep to return. And he'll get this away into the humid Florida sky. And a bit of a mistake there. This is well into the end zone for a touchback. So the Giants getting the football back here for their second drive. And they'll be looking to make this a two-score advantage. Had the touchdown on their first drive, Charles. Hey, they can get up two scores here on the road. That's a heck of a start. And not only have they thought about it, I wonder if they visualized it. I remember playing, and they used to turn the lights out in our meeting room and run through a situation like this and say, just think about what it would be like to be up on the road and take the crowd out of it. Maybe they did some of that. Operating from the 27 now. Here's second and three. Firing quickly, but it's incomplete. Well, they've got man coverage on the outside, and my scouting report on these DBs tells me that they love to take matters in their own hands. They want man coverage, not zone. And there was good coverage there that forced the incompletion. And that is incomplete. Oh, he did everything but hold on to it. But a nice play defensively, and now it brings up fourth down. And a great job on special teams to down it, as this will be marked down inside the five-yard line. Now Lawrence down around his goal line. A quick throw knocked away and incomplete. Quarterbacks work all the time on manipulating a defense with their eyes and their head movement. In this case, he just stared the receiver down. That allowed for excellent coverage, able to knock that one away.
So after the incompletion on first, now second and ten. From deep in their own territory, they look to throw. That is incomplete. They've given him some different looks here defensively in the early going. He's only hit two of his first five passes. With a big third down coming up, he's hoping he's got a play dialed up that can take advantage of whatever the defense throws at him. And he will have a Jaguars first down as they're able to get the third down conversion. But to throw again is Lawrence. Over the middle, he's got his tight end, Ingram. He'll be dropped at the 25 after a gain of six. Looking to throw again on second down. Lawrence finds the open target, Arnold. First catch for him on the afternoon, and it results in a first down. We see quite a bit of the short passing game here early on first quarter, haven't we? We have, and I think it works a couple of ways for, for this team because, number one, you throw the short game until they stop it. And if they're not going to stop it, you keep throwing it, and occasionally you'll break a tackle and turn into a bigger game. Also, if they start to creep up, start to pressure receivers, now you go over the top, take it deep, and now you get some of those big shots downfield. Finds his tight end, Ingram. Finding room at midfield. The 30. 10. Touchdown, Jaguars. Evan Ingram, 71 yards. And the Jaguars are an extra point away from evening this one up. Well, that's pretty impressive, Charles. It's one thing to be an elite speed wide receiver and have all that yards after the catch into the end zone, but from your tight end? Yeah, you don't get that very often. What you're describing is more like a Tyreek Hill, a Devontae Adams, and Antonio Brown. You're not talking about a guy that lines up or can line up in line and look like an extra tackle on running plays. He took that bad boy downfield just like he was a scat back. Before the game, he told me, I'm going to have a zinger or two today. And I was like, oh, a zinger or two? I guess that's a zinger, right? That's a zinger. Riley Patterson now for the extra point. It's up and good. So these teams match touchdowns here in the first quarter, and we're tied 7-7. Seven, seven. So all even at seven now as they kick it away. From the six. And a decent return out to the 27-yard line. And New York set to take the field. And Charles, a very uninspired effort the last time we saw them out there. It was a quick three and out, then they punted the football. Yeah, and you never want to get stopped so soundly during a series. But what would be even worse now? Is letting it happen again right here. They've got to get going. These two teams all tied after one. The first down carry for Barkley. And he's going to get a solid gain of nine before being brought down. Second and right at a yard. The previous run, good for nine. Here's second and a yard. They'll go to Barkley again. And he'll get it down to the 47 here. Four yards to pick up, first down. Jones with a handoff to Barkley. And he'll work down inside the 45. Give credit to the defense for stringing that play out. And they gave up no cutback angle. You know he was trying to dart through. No place for him to go. A nice job there, only giving up a three-yard gain. And the line to gain here is the 37 on third down. On the draw, this is Barkley. And he can only get this to the 42-yard line. And that is not near enough. Just a yard on the run there, and that's going to bring us to a fourth down. Well, this was just simply excellent defense. On this third down, they had to be alert for the possibility of a pass, but that didn't stop them at all from understanding what was going on when they decided to run the football, and they just swarmed and stopped them for almost no gain. So coming on now is the field goal unit. They're going to try for three, and he'll need all the leg he's got here. This will be spotted just shy of midfield, a 59-yard attempt. 
Gano's kick is good. And they take the lead here now at 10 to 7. So they're able to end that drive with three points in this one possession ball game. And ideally, you want to end every drive with points. Most quarterbacks, you tell you, let's end it with a kick, right? A PAT, that's number one. Field goal, you'll take. Punts, you really don't want to do that. In this case, they'll take the field goal and get prepared for the rest of the game. And out now comes Jacksonville as they get ready to go. A long drive last time out for this offense, Charles. If you remember, they started basically in the shadows of their own end zone, marched it down the field, and a lot of that was through the passing game. And partners, a former defensive back, I'm having almost a physical reaction watching what's happening right now. But let's give credit where it's due because they've done an excellent job moving the ball through the air. Secondary getting picked apart pass by pass. Obviously, they need to make some adjustments there on the back end. And because offensively, we know that they're not going to be shy about throwing that football. An incomplete pass on that last play, and that means they'll need to come up with something here on third down. From the gun, it's Lawrence. Nowhere to go here. He lost the football. And good field position coming up here. The football at the 12-yard line. Well, that's a down and distance coaches always talk about trying to avoid, isn't it? I mean, that's third and long, and you just know they're pinning their ears back and coming after him, sometimes even with extra pressure. And he, he knew that. I mean, he, he knew they were coming. He just fumbled it. Yeah, he knew it. The offensive line knew it. Everyone did, yet the pressure was still there, and he ended up coughing it up. And he's going to work this one down to about the five. From the five, here's second and two. Again, it's Barkley. And this won't be enough to pick up the first. A gain of two, third and one. Pretty good job defensively. Thought he was going to get it, but they knew where that marker was, and they stopped him just short of it. What it does is emphasize that strategic football and situational football is not just played on the offensive side, is it? Defense understanding, as you noted, where the first down marker was and making sure they didn't get there. They'll try to run for it with Barkley. And he takes it into the end zone for a giant TD. Saquon Barkley, a three-yard touchdown run as his guys are able to extend their lead. On third down and short and everything well executed, he not only gets the first down, Charles, he gets the touchdown as well. And you see the defense commit to the run so often in these situations. There's always that little bit of hesitancy, isn't there, partner? Thinking that they may play action yet. They took advantage of that hesitancy and found their way into the end zone with a running play. Gano now following the touchdown here to kick it away. And no return here for Agnew, so they'll bring it out, start the drive at the 25. Now comes the Jacksonville offense as they get set to take over here. Last time out, they had the fumble. That led to the touchdown. Not a great look on either side of the ball as the defense gave up the... Lawrence hit, and the ball is free. Second time in this game, Charles, the ball is squirted out from his hands. Luckily, his teammate was there to pounce on it. You're right. Got the lucky bounce, able to retain possession. You know, we often talk about the combine and why do we measure quarterbacks' hands? Is that really a big deal? It's for situations like this. Do you have the hands big enough and strong enough to hold on to the football while being jostled? Second catch for him today, and it'll wind up a first down. Second and short, that's a rundown, so it's definitely a good time to go play action if you're feeling it. And they do so and pick up a first down. Here's the second-year man from Clemson, Travis Etienne. And he's going to be stacked up right at the line of scrimmage. Nothing there for him. Second down. Lawrence with the handoff to Robinson. 
And a good run here as he'll rumble all the way down to the 40-yard line. So on the other side of the field now, it's first and 10 as they've got things rolling on this drive. On first and 10, it's Robinson. And a pretty good run there as he gets seven down to the 33. That's a really nice job by them picking up the run blitz and detecting it and blocking it and turning it into a nice run. And a lot of times you think if you blitz a running play, you're going to smother it. But and now look at this. Big gain, but a fumble. And the Giants have it. It's picked up. And the return goes up to his own 17-yard line. Whenever I see a team turn it over on back-to-back -back drives, fumbles on their last two, I know one person's blood pressure who is starting to rise, and that's the head coach. Absolutely. And when's it going to go down? When they stop fumbling? <laughs> <laughs> when they stop fumbling and after he's assessed the game film, and only if they manage to win the game. Throwing Jones. And a dangerous throw there, incomplete. He threw that into coverage. It was nearly intercepted. A give to Barkley out of the gun. And this will be a Giants first down as he's got this up to the 40-yard line. So a solid run by Saquon Barkley and another first and 10 here. And they'll give him another shot here on the ground. And he'll be brought down, losing yardage back at the 40. Officially, it's a one-yard loss. That's going to bring up second and 11. Coming up to the line, and they will need to run another play here before the two-minute warning. And strong running there as he's across midfield and down to the 49. 78 yards rushing for him as he has been tough to stop here this first half. On any explosive run, you can almost feel the ground shaking, and that's from the offensive linemen creating space for their runners. I had an old coach tell me before that he always told his runners, run around the offensive line in pregame. Get used to the ground shaking so you don't trip and fall when it happens in a game. Out of the shotgun, they run with Barkley. And he'll be taken down at the 44-yard line. Five yards, now it's third and five. They'll need five on this play to move the sticks. On third down, Barkley. Give him three yards there as that'll take us to fourth down. And that was a big-time play by the defense. They as well knew where the first down line was, and they didn't let him get anywhere near it. So now on comes the field goal unit, and wow, this is no ordinary try here. So this will be spotted on the midfield logo. It's a 58-yard attempt. And I tell you what, he got it from 58. That had lots of leg behind him, and that will open the lead up now to 20-7. So able to add on to their first half lead here, Charles, forcing the miscue with a fumble and then turning that into three points. Yeah, and more than happy to accept any mistakes the other side is willing to make. No problem. You turn it over, we'll take that, and we'll use it to expand our lead. And the Jags going to go on offense now late in this first half. And with him down two scores, you wonder if they might try and put something together, even if it's just to get into field goal range. Lawrence hit and the ball is free. And the Giants have it. It's picked up. And this is taken into the end zone. A fumble recovery and a Giants touchdown. Gano now to add the extra point. And that one pushes the lead up to an even 20. So here's the kickoff now as he'll get it again following that fumble return for a score. And they'll bring it out to the 25 as Agnew elects for the touchback. And the Jags going to go on offense now late in this first half. And I don't think they need to be reminded of the situation here. I mean, the clock is dwindling. Three score deficit waiting for them at halftime unless they can get something on the board here before intermission. The Jaguars going to go ahead and use their first timeout as they stop it here with just under 40 ticks to go in this first half. Lawrence's throw into the hands of Kirk. Now another.
another timeout called for by the offense as the clock will stop with 34 seconds to go before halftime. Throwing now, Lawrence on first down. Throwing over the middle, but it's incomplete. To this point, I've been impressed with the work defensively. They have not allowed a lot of receivers to run free. And there's another example, another incompletion. This is caught. It's Kirk. And they're going to have another first down as the tackle's made at the Giants' 34-yard line. And you see the clock almost empty, so this is likely the last play in the second quarter. Final play of the half. It's Lawrence. He'll connect on the out route with Ingram. And he is out of bounds inside the 30. And that extra yardage makes this upcoming field goal attempt much more manageable. Agreed, because when you talk to defensive coordinators, they always tell us the 35-yard line on our side of the field, that's the line we guard the most aggressively because once they get there, they believe they're in field goal range. So with two ticks left here in the half, on is the field goal unit. On the right hash, it's a 43-yard attempt. Patterson's kick is good. But now there is a penalty marker on the field, so let's see what this is about. So we come upon a happy sight for a lot of these fans. We're jumping right over halftime and getting back into the action. Welcome back. Charles and I settled into the booth ready for quarter number three. And this will not be returned, so the second half begins with a touchback. Lawrence bringing the Jaguars up first and 10 at their 25-yard line. Here's Lawrence to throw. Looking for Jones, and it's intercepted. And the Giants are going to take possession of the football. Now that one is going to sting. First play of the third quarter and a turnover. And you have to know that at halftime, they spent a lot of time going through their checklist of what they wanted to accomplish to start this third quarter. Turning it over like this was not on that list. Not at all. You, and you come out of the locker room trailing, so that first drive to establish momentum is very key. Crucial. Second down, here's Barkley again. And he will take it on in for a giant touchdown. Saquon Barkley, his second touchdown of the afternoon. And the Giants are able to strike quickly to add on to their lead. Gano the extra point, and the lead is now 24. Gano now following the touchdown here to kick it away. And no return here for Agnew, so they'll bring it out, start the drive at the 25. Here comes the Jaguars offense as they get set here. I kind of feel like they've reached a do-or-die point in this game, Charles. If they're going to try to pull off an impressive comeback, it has to start right here, right now. Yeah, now they've got a final chance to get out of this situation, but they also understand they've got to move the ball and move it fast. In addition, they need to save as much time so they can get two more possessions. Meanwhile, Lawrence's throw here into the hands of Jones. And he's out of bounds, able to take this one up to the 35. Ball up to the 35 now as they come up on first and 10. Out of the gun, they give to Robinson. And some room to work. 30, 10, touchdown, Jaguars. James Robinson, 65 yards. And the Jaguars get a bit closer. Lawrence going to look to throw for it. Dancing to his left. And he's got it for the two-point conversion. So they tack on a pair more here to narrow that deficit a bit further. But it's still an uphill battle from here, that's for sure. But that makes it a two-score game. And now we see why teams practice so much on the two-point conversion, why you have more than one play ready. Because you may need multiples to throw out a ball game. Here's a great example right there. The New York set to take the field. Their lead down to two scores after the touchdown a moment ago as they start with a first and ten. And the stiff arm proved fruitful for the second, but the daylight quickly snuffed out. From the 28, it's second and five. Now 
Now the Georgia Southern man, it's Matt Breda. Seven yards there and a first down. Well, you certainly have to give a little credit here because they're playing this game now at their pace. This is ball control football, sustained runs, taking their time and making it work. Give him a couple on the carry there, second and eight. Up the middle with Barkley. There's the stiff arm. And good vision there as he's across midfield and down to the 45-yard line. 119 yards for him on the ground now as he has been terrific here this afternoon. Meanwhile, Jones' throw here pulled in by Galladay. And he's going to be taken down just shy of the 35. Still a few inches short of a first down as they come up now on second down. It's Barkley on the counter. They're going to snuff this play out behind the line. We have not seen that much today. Play number seven now coming up on the drive. Third and five. And he'll find Galladay. That's complete. And he's going to have another first down as the tackle's made at the Jaguars' 30. Back to throw. Jones. And they're going to move it down the inside the 25. Nice rhythm throw there on first down. He located his tight end, made a nice, easy pitch and catch. Hoping he can break a tackle or two. Wasn't able to do that there, but still good yardage. They go back to the ground now with Barkley. And tackled down after a gain of three. Leaves him with one yard to go on third down. They're pretty good spot right now with a convincing lead. I think this is where they put on the boxing gloves and start to try and pound them into submission. And the offensive line, they've controlled this game. I don't see why that trend would change now. A loss of a yard, and it brings up four. I like the strategy. Extra tight ends, extra beef. They want to run the football, but that means they probably won't run it inside. If you get strung out on the perimeter, you're in peril. Yeah, we saw the result. Negative yardage. So Jones off, Graham Gano on here for the New York Giants. Now the holder's going to keep it. He's going to try to run for it. And they're able to pick up the first and keep possession. So from inside the 20, here's first and 10 at the 18. Barkley inside handoff. A gain of three, second down. Well, praise has to go to the guys on the offensive line because they've had a very nice, productive day running the football. How about that poor defensive line? They've been knocked around the entire game, and while they slowed them down on that run, can they continue to do so? Because they haven't had much success throughout this ball game. A handoff to Barkley. And he will have the first down before he's brought down at the three. A strong eight yards will keep this drive rolling. Second down and three with right around three minutes remaining in the third quarter. Three's all around. They're able to get a couple here, but won't get across the plane as they stop him right around the one. So second and goal and standing by himself in the backfield, Barkley. And he will take it on in for a giant touchdown. A one-yard touchdown run from Saquon Barkley as his guys are able to push that lead out a bit further. Extra point try, good by Gano. And that pushes the lead up to 23. Gano now following the touchdown here to kick it away. And they'll bring it out to the 25 as Agnew elects for the touchback. And now out come the Jags. Well, this has been a tough one for them, Charles. They've struggled really on both sides of the football. And one thing that's really plagued them, the turnovers. They've had issues keeping the football in their possession. In every game that's ever been played, <laughs> all coaches talk about taking care of the football and limiting turnovers. And in this one, after we saw that first turnover, we worried that things would snowball. And it certainly did, especially on the scoreboard. Limited running room as he'll get about three to the 21. This offense in desperate need of a conversion as they come up on third down. Lawrence will throw. He'll complete this to Ingram as tight end. And a pretty nice tackle there, ranging up from his free safety spot as he'll stop him about a yard short. Here's Logan Cook now as he'll kick it away for the second time.
So not just running into the punter, but roughing the punter. And I'm struggling with this one. You know, you're watching it, partner. Is it more the first rather than the latter? This is a tough one. Almost feels like he felt like he had to call it on that play. And they're going to get this down to about the 37. A late season breakout at the end of 2021 with the Raiders. Earned Zay Jones a big deal as part of Jacksonville's spending spree this offseason. And he'll need to keep up that kind of play in order to stand out in a crowded Jags receiving room. First downs like that, an excellent way to continue to earn more opportunities. And they're going to move it down inside the 25. And that's a nice catch there. Remember, he had the fumble earlier. No way he was giving up the ball in that situation. Secured it tight to his body and picks up the first down. Robinson up the middle, and he'll manage to pick up about four at second down. And that last carry puts him right at 100 yards for the game. So how has he done it? Because he's been patient, followed his blocks, let everything develop, and then burst through for big gains. to the line to run another play so we will switch ends as the third quarter has come to a close you are watching the nfl on ea sports to throw on second and six lawrence that's going to be caught by kirk and brought down but not before they get it inside the 10 to the seven it's a gain of 13 for number 13, and it gives him a first down. A three-score game here late. You can probably rule out the comeback, but certainly some kind of a moral victory to be had if they can get a few more points to close things out. And to that end, a nice pass play there to push things downfield. Yeah, and we know in this league, a loss is a loss, and no one wants anything to count as a moral victory or, boy, something that feels a little bit cheap. But if they trim that lead down to just two scores, that's still a benefit to this squad. They'll run with ETN. And he takes it in. Touchdown, Jacksonville. Travis Etienne taking it in from seven yards away. And the Jags are able to make some inroads here to that deficit. They'll try and run it here, but he will not make it into the end zone. He stops short, and that might spell it into their chances as this stays a three-score game. From the six. And they'll get him down inside the 30 at the 27. New York ready to go again offensively. And they've got to be feeling very comfortable and confident here with this lead in the football here in the fourth quarter, Charles. And I don't think that they need to score again, but it seems like this offense is just getting better as the game goes on. They've scored on their last two drives. It certainly feels like a chance for them to continue to have some fun out there, doesn't it? Game's already decided, as you noted. So they can continue to play loose, break out some other concepts, maybe run a few trick plays, get other people involved. Heck, even go deep on one of these first snaps just because they can. Jones fakes the give to Barkley. 
And that is incomplete. How about some applause for the defense there? They forced him to throw that one into coverage. And just like that, they're staring at a fourth down. Well done. And here's Gillen on now to punt as he gets this one away. And now where will the side judge stop his walk? That's the question. He says it crossed out of bounds at about the 17-yard line. Lawrence bringing the Jaguars up first and 10 at their own 17-yard line. Now Lawrence. He's got a man. It's his tight end. That's complete. And he'll be taken down, but not before he gets his football out shy of the 30 to the 29. On first and 10, it's Lawrence. He targets Ingram for another grab. And able to get this one across the 45 before he's brought down. Another first down as he went right back to the same well, this time for 17 yards. Lawrence. Oh, that's into a sea of bodies, and it's intercepted. And the Giants are going to take possession of the football. But with the points that we've seen scored, neither defense has been at their best, but these guys have been a little bit better, Charles, and a nice interception there. Yeah, you're right about that, Brandon. Let's face it. It's not always how you start, it's how you finish, right? So maybe you have a rough game all the way along. If you make a big play like that at the right time, it can make everything turn out just okay. Now, quick throw there, going to be batted away and incomplete. The Giants on third down. They've converted five times in their many chances thus far. This is third and four. And, oh, that's going to wind up incomplete. Nearly their first pick of the game, but it does bring up fourth down. And the holder's going to keep it. He's going to try to run for it. And now off to the races, down the right side. The fake field goal catches everyone by surprise as his guys have opened up a very comfortable lead. So a fake field goal run in for the touchdown. That can be a huge momentum swing. And that's got to drive a defensive coach and a special teams coach crazy. Someone else running it in on a fake field goal when you're supposed to be alert for it. Terrific play by the offense. Not so much by the defense. Very short kick. This will be taken by one of the up men. They're going to take this up close to the 40, so really good starting field position. Lawrence bringing the Jaguars up first and 10 at their 38. They start on the ground with Robinson here, and he's going to be stopped up quickly here. Just a yard up to the 39. Here's second and nine, just a yard on that last run. Looking to throw, Lawrence. Caught by Jones. So they just need one yard here to pick up the first down. On third and one, it's Lawrence. He'll find Jones again, complete. And he's going to be taken down right at the 40-yard line. Those are the types of plays they probably wish they had made more of in the first three quarters. And this deficit is going to be tough to overcome here in the fourth. But a nice first down and a pickup on that throw. Yeah, and this is where as coaches, you're looking for effort and execution, even though the scoreboard is going against you. You want to find out who's going to fight, who's going to scrap, who's going to keep their heads up and continue to play. From the red zone now, they'll look to throw. Rolling to his left. And one more time, here's Kirk. And the Jags are going to be set up with a first and goal coming up as they get him down at the six-yard line. If I can put my defensive cap on right now, and I know they're saying don't give up any big plays now. They've controlled this game throughout, and all they want to do is see it through to the end. I think they let their go. Lawrence hitting the ball is free, and the Giants have it. It's picked up, and a big turnover there as his guys will get the football back. And with that kind of a deficit, you can't afford to make any kind of mistakes. But it's been pretty symptomatic of what we've seen all game with them, isn't it? Down, Same. down this big in the yeah, fourth quarter. Yeah, you'd say an afternoon to forget, absolutely. Just a yard on the pickup there, and it'll bring up a second and nine. They'll run it again with Barkley. 
It'll be a gain of five, but still about three yards shy of the first down marker, and now it's third down. Coming up here looking for three yards to pick up the first. Jones with a handoff to Barkley, and he will have a first down at about the 21-yard line. Give him three yards and a fresh set of downs. They'll try and run some clock here with Barkley. And not much doing there. Maybe a yard up to the 23. On second down, here's Barkley. And a nice run past the 30-yard line there. 149 yards rushing for him now as he has been tremendous all day long. They'll try to run for it with Barkley. Tough sledding. They lose a yard there on third. On this day, the ground has been his, but at least on that individual play, we just saw the defense finally with a win. Yeah, they finally got one, and that's a win for them, but all game long. He's seen the holes, and they've been huge for him. Kind of like a baseball hitter in the zone. The ball seems bigger, and he's just whacking it. These guys, they've got it going today. And out now comes Jacksonville as they get ready to go. Where we stand right now in the fourth quarter, this one pretty much out of reach. And, Charles, I know they're going to be disappointed about several things with this ball game, but the self-inflicted wounds, they've had several turnovers. You would have to think that's going to be something they're going to discuss heavily in the film session in the coming days. You're absolutely right about that, partner, because... They're going to have to sit in that film room and watch every error that they made and figure out how to not do it in the future. And mentally, I think a lot of the guys are already starting to think about, okay, how do we put this behind us and get better for the next time out? This, they'll use as motivation for the rest of the time that they play to hopefully never be in this type of situation again. Now this will leave them a yard short. Nice pickup of nine yards on first down. Throwing again on second down. Lawrence sets up the screen to Robinson. And so we're looking to maneuver. And he's going to be out of bounds, but not before he takes it inside the 40. So here's a first and 10 at the 38. Again, it's Lawrence. And a quick throw here. That's complete. And they're going to move it down inside the 25. Now you've got to hustle your guys to the line and get them set. Now he's got it. And they are able to stop him, but he does take it all the way to the two. And they will elect to decline the penalty. Everything turned out the way they wanted it to. No sense in even having to take that one. Hence the decline. Now Lawrence to throw. To the back of the end zone, but too high. Over everybody and incomplete. That incompletion is not a surprise with the way that this one has gone, and the frustration of body language is evident everywhere. This team, they've really been put through the ringer in this one. And that is caught. Touchdown, Jacksonville. Evan Ingram, a beast in the red zone with his second touchdown of the game. And the Jaguars are able to cut into that deficit. They'll let Robinson try and run. And he's going to be hit and taken down in the backfield. Just nowhere to run that time. And the try for two is snuffed out. And this is going to be covered up by the Giants. Now they're down big here in the fourth. They had to try the onside kick. Can't fault them for the effort at least. No, you can't at all. And if nothing else, now you've put something that you're trying to practice, right, that you, you've worked on into a game situation. And now you can go back and dissect it. So if you need it again sometime, maybe you'll find a better way to do it. But, yeah, this game's pretty much done for them. And he's corralled at the 40, but not before picking up eight. Jones going to get this out wide to Tony. And he's going to be marked down just inside the 35. Into heavy traffic, and it's intercepted. There he goes, left side. And he will take this one home. It's a touchdown. 
This game's still fairly well in hand, but I think now you, you go conservative, don't you? Go into your shell, just run the football. I think you have to, but you also have to tell your backs, make sure you're really protecting the football because you're going to run into a stacked defensive front, which is why they were throwing the football before, trying to make sure they just get their backs, you know, really beat up in that situation. Now, good luck to them. And this is going to be recovered by the hand team. And that should just about put a capper on this one. They knew they needed a miracle. They had to have that onside kick. They didn't get it. Well, as we knew, even before they put the, the toe to the leather on that one, their chances of getting that done, slim and none. And I do believe we saw Slim just leave the door, didn't we? We did indeed. I think we're down to none. And they will take a knee here. The Jaguar is going to go ahead and use their first timeout as they'll stop it with 25 ticks remaining on the clock. And they'll indeed take a knee. Now a second timeout called for by the defense. That'll leave them with just one remaining in this fourth quarter of play. And the defense will spread the field a dime package here on third and 12. And they take a knee. Now the defense will burn their third and final timeout. And as the two teams talk it over on their respective sidelines, we take a break. Now the offense going to use the first of their timeouts. That'll leave them with two remaining. We'll be back after this. And he won't get there. They stop him a few yards short of the line to gain. The Giants go on fourth, but come up empty. And it'll be a turnover on downs. Partner, when you see a running play stop short like that, you just know that the defensive front, they won the battle of leverage and created the push back into the opposing backfield. And for the offensive coordinator, whether you had one yard to go or 20 yards to go on fourth down, now you're probably saying, oh, maybe I should have passed it, right? Yeah, hindsight is always 20-20. Still going, and he is into the end zone for the touchdown. So they still need a miracle with a clock where it's at, but they get one piece to the puzzle done. Still have hope. Throwing now, Lawrence, and he's got it. So the try for two successful, and with it, they're back within a field goal. So looking at this situation, you should have time for the onside kick and then at least one play. And this will be recovered by the Giants, and that ought to just about do it. They had to go for it with no timeouts remaining, though, now. This one's as good as over. They gave it an effort. They tried their best, did everything they could to try and get the ball on the onside kick. You're exactly right. They had to try it. It was their only option. And now this game is done. Just take it, kneel, and call it a day. And that one incomplete, but now a penalty flag coming in late. That might be P.I. So pass interference the call, and that does not look to be going over too well on the defensive side. Or on their sideline, because I believe their head coach is saying right now, hey, you've got to call that both ways. And he's going to be taken down just shy of the 35. Charles, normally when you see a group score this many points, it's a complete blowout. But instead, they needed every single one of those in this close, high-scoring affair. And Brandon, I'm still on the edge of my seat after that one because when you have that much scoring and it still comes down to a one-possession game at the end, that's not something we see very often. And in this case, these offenses, they brought it. The defenses, they're going to need some work going forward. So that'll just about do it for Charles Davis. I'm Brandon Gordon. You've been watching the NFL on EA Sports. For more, log on to easports.com. With that, we sign off from Jacksonville.